Hey, welcome back. We're the Kanpai guys. We Kanpai, so you don't have to. Unless you want to. Today we're looking at yet another craft gin. This one is the Japanese craft gin Juju. Wow, looks very green and foresty. I would say so. Uh, before we dive into this week's uh, gin review, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, please hit the bell notification for instant updates when we release new videos. Do you know anything about this gin here? This is the first time I've seen this gin. Yeah. yeah. Juju is quite a funny name. It's yeah. a pretty crazy name, Juju. <laughs> Doesn't it use like the the second kanji is like, if you say, for example, hitobito. Like if you repeat the first kanji, you yeah. repeat the same sound. Yeah, or like hibi. Hibi, yeah. yeah. It's like a kind of a weird kanji. It just means if this kanji appears, you just say the first kanji again. Right, yes. But sometimes you might have to change it a little, like hito, hito. Exactly, yeah. Right. So, so it's ju, ju. Ju, ju. Okay. What does ju mean? It's not the uh, religious group, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. It's spelled J-U, I yeah. guess. Yeah, J-U, J-U. Like, my first thought when seeing when I saw it was like juju, like, you know, like funky hippie stuff. Like I was thinking like Austin Powers Mojo or something, <laughs> and juju. But it turns out that the kanji they use here, uh, juju, it means mini trees. Many trees. Many trees. So I have some expectations from this gin. Is it gonna be like the Nagano Gin that we tried before on a recent episode. I'm thinking so. Times <laughs> <laughs> many trees. Which already was enough trees yeah, for me. So yeah. I don't need more trees in my gin, I think. I picked it up from the convenience store from Lawson. Lawson is selling this, really? Yes. I paid a grand total of 748 yen for this bottle. What, what milliliter is it? 200. Oh. Yes. Super pricey, right? Yeah. This is produced by a company called Hamada Shuzo. Hamada Shuzo. Hamada Shuzo. And they're based in Kagoshima. So this company has a 150 year history. Guess uh, they've not been making gin for 150 years. So yeah, surprise, surprise. Like they're not a gin company, so to speak. <laughs> they make shochu. And one of the unique points about this gin is it has a rice shochu base. Kind of the big number two alcohol. So sake or nihonshu would be number one, and shochu would be number two. Uh, and strong zero is number three. <laughs> <laughs> I think strong zero is number one. Recently. <laughs> <laughs> so from the, the website, the official website, translated from Japanese into English, they describe this Juju Jin as the new craft gin inspired by the beautiful trees in the forests and the calm and freshness of days when the trees leak out. Leak out? Leak out. Like the sap comes out or something? I don't know. Or when the trees leave the forest. We were talking about fern gully, uh, like toxic waste <laughs> leaks out of them. Or, or like Lord of the Rings. Like when the, what are they called? The Ents? The ENTs? Like the big tree people come out of, of the forest and like fight the orcs. Is it the four hour one or the seven hour one? Uh, <coughs> yes. It's a long one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What I just noticed about your printout is that craft is spelt with a K. Yeah. Is it like the processed cheese? Uh, again, this one's translated from yeah. Japanese English. <laughs> they say rich nature that. Japanese has been familiar with ancient times, mm. uses materials that were born in Kagoshima to represent the world of trees. 
carefully selected Japanese yuzu for a light and refreshing taste of citrus. A lot of craft gins do have yuzu, and it sui has yuzu. Yeah, sui gin, I think. Aichi Craft had also had a yuzu. I, th- I, I think every craft gin we've reviewed so far has had yuzu. In it. I guess it makes sense because like traditional gin from England always has lemon peel, so they're like s- uh, okay. they're, they're supplementing that with yuzu. Okay. They add like a Japanese note. They're giving it the yuzu twist. I mean, if you're trying to add a Japanese taste, like yuzu would be an obvious thing. Yeah, to add to it. Uh, obviously, but. of course. They continue. Six carefully selected botanical ingredients protect the freshness of yuzu for a richer taste. The label is designed with an illustration of the ingredients with a green reminiscent of deep green. It's very green. So. Yeah, very yeah. accurate too. The label has you know illustrations of all the botanicals you can find in it. They don't really go into specifics about what's in this. They say yuzu is protected by. So does yeah. that mean like yuzu's in the middle and then these six things like dance around? Stopping evil spirits entering the circle or something. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to find out. Well, we were talking about a movie that this reminded me of, this label. That's right. Would you like to uh, share with our viewers? Sure. Uh, this label reminds me of Midsummer. Midsummer, the movie from 2020? Pretty recent, like uh, yeah. last year. Yeah. Or oh, like a year and a half ago. Yeah. So this weird Swedish festival horror movie, yeah. Midsummer, kind of like cult summer camp. Yeah, but with like very like chintzy, chintzy like Swedish designed like rugs. Here is the fire. Here is the wood. Here is the daffodil, <laughs> <laughs> protecting the sacred yuzu in the middle. <laughs> I think they need to hire you for PR. <laughs> <laughs> Midsummer or did you, did you? Uh, both? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so juju, it's thirty-eight percent alcohol by volume. As far as ways to serve this gin, the company recommends primarily on soda water. So they have two recommendations. One is a quarter gin and three quarters soda. But they also recommend <clears throat> half and half, half gin, half soda. Oh, yes. one for the stronger crowd. Yes, okay. they describe this as uh, rich and expressive flavor, and you can enjoy it with light snacks such as edamame. Edamame? Yes. With a gin soda? And cheese. Cheese? Really? And crackers. Crackers? Yes. But cheese and crackers? Sure. Cheese and edamame? Cheese, crackers and edamame. Nice. Today we will be doing on soda, one weak and one strong. No edamame cheese crackers, I think. But, yeah. Unfortunately not. No. Maybe next time. Maybe for the next gin review. So let's dive into our first gin and soda. All right, we're back and we've prepared our gin and soda. Again, this is one part gin, three parts soda. The weaker one the weaker more refreshing style recommended by the the company yeah there's nothing too like unpleasant about it foresty foresty is mm. a good word like pine pine yeah sweet pine but it's not overwhelming yeah i'd like this like fragrance in my car or something yeah like, if i had a little, little one of those hanging pine tree things yeah you know like uh, 80s like Serial killers have in a taxi or something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. This aroma is closer to an actual pine leaf. That's true. Meaning, like, you have to get really close, smell it. Mm. Whereas, like, a car freshener you can smell from across the room. Should we come by? Should we try Let's come by. All right. Come by. Wow. Pretty bitter. It is, yeah. It's interesting, it has like the bitterness of gin, but it doesn't really taste like gin. Well, I guess the difference is this one uses uh, shochu rice. Hmm. That's kind of a unique thing about this one, I think. Yeah. The other ones we tried so far don't have any sh- like shochu or Japanese 
sake influence. Right. They're using pure botanicals. Do you get the yuzu? It doesn't really stick out. No. I get some kind of citrus, but I couldn't tell you what it is. Yeah. Like, is it an orange? Is it a lemon? Yeah. It could be lemon or yuzu or lime. It has a very safe taste. I think if you don't like like anything particularly strong about spirits, and you just want like a very easy, pleasant, simple taste, this might be for you, this gin. That's a very good point. This is easy to drink. It goes down smooth. And compared to the Kano Shizuku, that was really harsh. Intense. Very intense. Even on soda water, it was really hard to enjoy. This one doesn't really go into detail about what botanicals are in it. So it's got like a herb, a kind of a flower in it. Probably cinnamon, juniper, yuzu, and like wheat would be the shochu, I'm guessing. Okay. Does it have a shochu taste? Oh, you don't drink a lot of shochu, I think. I don't, but I'm very familiar with the shochu taste. I would say yes yeah. on the finish. I get the shochu in the nose. Really? I'll tell you what, it's not It's not what I expected. No. I expected this to like blow my socks off. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we were expecting this to be like the Kano Shizuku like double, like max time. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like half Kano Shizuku, it's like the other way, it's like the opposite yeah. of that. Well the official description translated to English said the forests are leaking. So initially I thought, oh wow, it's going to be really foresty, but maybe from, what it means is from that description, it's yeah. leaking from the gin. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to hear an Amazon review? Yeah, I want to yeah. know how our opinions compare to the people's opinions. The voice of the people. The voice of the people. We are Consumers. here to please the people and we're here yeah. to listen to the people. I think you gotta listen, you can't just speak all the time. It's important that you listen. That's so, right. Yeah. That's right. So today our reviews have been translated from the original Japanese to sometimes very poorly mm. translated English. So it's sense. our job to decipher this poorly translated English and try to make sense of it and discuss. Well, Alex, we decipher so you don't have to. But That's right. But you can if you want to. Yeah. Please let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out a five star review. Hmm. So this okay. person really likes this. You can even feel like you are in the forest just by breathing the scent from the glass with your nose and the mouth. Hmm. It seems to be based on shochu, but I don't know that because that area is not Uedo. Is Uedo the only place that makes Sure. I couldn't tell you. I think you have to do some deep dive research to understand that sentence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think every area makes shochu, right? Yeah. Right. However, when you take a sip and taste it, it has a tremendous fragrance. Whether it's a tree or a plant, I can't say anything. It feels like I'm drunk. Uh, this person hasn't tried Kano Shizuku, I think. I think this person is still drunk on Kano Shizuku in the writing. So. <laughs> <laughs> the British Red Uncle Jin is a spirit that sets it apart. Um, I'm British, I don't have a Red Uncle, so... Care to explain? The British Red Uncle Jin. Is he talking about the beef eater? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone's got a beefy uh, uncle in their family <laughs> in England, <laughs> evidently. <laughs> However, it is strange that you can drink it deliciously, whether you divide it with carbonic acid or fruit juice. It mm. doesn't mean that the features will disappear, but I'm afraid to say, I'll say goodbye to my likes and dislikes, but I'm still star. That's a star, star emoji. I'm still star emoji. It is a unique sake. Okay. I can imagine him sitting in his living room and going, oh, this is a unique sake. He's talking to himself. 
特別な酒な<笑> They mentioned drinking it with fruit juice Yeah, that's interesting, right? Do you think that would、uh, enhance this? No, I think you would only taste fruit juice if you mix this with fruit juice Yeah, this is not strong it would, enough It would just be washed away, I don't think you'd taste it at all Very、uh, deep thinker we have there I'm still curious about the red uncle You're from the UK I'm... I know red is a simple word, but you kind of have to explain what red is referring to there. Is that, do they have like a red face or. A commie. A commie? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We are in Europe, I guess. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Let's do one more review.、Uh, yeah, this reviewer、uh, gave this gin four stars. I like gin and tonic, and I often get based on British gin. Damn. Damn. Based. What? British gin, such as Bombay Sapphire, the popular one in the blue bottle.、Uh, so I really compare it with that. So they're comparing this specifically with Bombay Sapphire. That's understandable. It's a very common gin. Very popular gin. And、yeah. pretty high quality one as well. Japanese craft gin, if you don't get it to the only Japanese gin, mouth salad again. Oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Only the fragrance and taste will remain uncomfortable. The smell of juniper berries common to gin is a light in this product, and it is true, but it was not like gin. Other citrus scents also had a weak impression. Yeah. As a result, the gin and tonic did not look like a gin and tonic, and the fragrance was weak. Yeah. For example, when using Bombay Sapphire, The punch is halved. Half punch. Half punch. Damn. When you get a rock, the impression that the base is rice shot you. I don't feel shot you at all. <laughs> But I felt that the base was rice. Okay. <laughs> Let's stop there for a second. I think they're saying that. This juju packs half the punch of、Shoji. Bombay Sapphire. Okay. And. But it tastes rice? It tastes like rice. But it's not shoju. But it's not shoju. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought there might be other ways to drink this gin. I thought that it would be something that should be given as a craft gin only. And then they fell asleep, I think. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> Seemed like they were really kind of go off on one and then just. Maybe, maybe they got、yeah. a phone call or something.、So. Yeah, I kind of get what they're saying though. Like, I think there is like some kind of rice element to this. Yeah. But it's not shochu. I think a lot of these reviewers' reactions are coming from the fact that they're comparing these really unique Japanese craft gins to your standard, like, big brand gins. Yeah. Well, I guess we are going to try a strong one next. Yeah, I think this might benefit from you know, a kick from more gin. Yeah, I mean, I want to taste like the real punch of this yeah, gin. Yeah. All right, round two half juju, half soda. <laughs> are you ready for the juju double punch? I'm ready for the like, Bruce Lee like, jab to the chest and you fly across the room. Like, or, like a tree kicking me across the room. Yeah, I think this might be more like a Bruce Lee jab to the throat and the nose at the same time. And just bleed out of every part of your face. Yeah.、Right. Or not. All right, right off the bat, it's much more fragrant. Yeah. Which is to be expected. Right. I still don't find the, the smell unpleasant. Do you?、No. Even at this strength. It's, it's not unpleasant. Okay. Come back. Come back. <laughs> wow. Oof. <laughs> it's super strong, but I wouldn't say it's flavorful at all. It just tastes like strong <clears throat> gin. Kind of tastes harsh like this. It is harsh. Yeah, it's a good way to describe it. Oh man, that's undrinkable for me. This tastes like you put like quite cheap shochu 
I mean, you just poured some random other spirit into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has like the fragrance and the flavor mm. of like a shochu, and but the, it has the harshness of and the punch like, of a shochu. A, a shot of vodka. I think this could yeah. benefit from like thirty percent more soda water. So you you would say like perfect would be like like thirty five percent gin, sixty five percent soda water, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a little bit more than last time, yes. a little bit less than this time. Yeah, right in somewhere middle. in the middle. This is a little too harsh. Should we break out with that Amazon review? So, should we do another one? Just to like... Yeah, let's... Take a break, take a load off. Yeah, yeah. I need I need something to get my mind off of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the final review we have, it's a short one, and they gave it only two stars. I bought it in anticipation of Japanese gin. But the taste was shochu. Since shochu is not detailed, I do not know the fine taste, etc. But I didn't feel the scent of juniper particular to gin. Well, I think there is a problem of taste. So, it'll be a two-star rating. You feeling this person? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that person just walked to bed slowly, got on the mattress, and just one solitary tear rolled down their cheek. Only one. And then they first asleep. That would be a PN. Yeah. We talked about that earlier, PN. PN. I'm too, too hard for these words. I guess today we should just give this one Kenpai, because we only had it like one way, technically. This gin with soda gets mm. a 5 out of 10 for me. 5 out of 10, okay. Yeah. Agreed. Nothing special. It's not terrible. Yeah, it's, it's drinkable. I'd say it's dead average. <laughs> it's definitely different from your standard gin. It stands out, but it doesn't stand above. Does mm. that make sense? Mm, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that's all I can really say about it. You have some radicalized gins <laughs> over here. Not that we kind of not stop reviewing these kind of drinks. <laughs> Obviously, we will review more. Of them, they will so. continue. <laughs> whether we like it or not yes well guys thanks for watching another episode another craft gin review i'm sure we'll have some more uh if there are any drinks you'd like us to try please let us know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please give us a like we would really really appreciate it if you're not a subscriber yet please subscribe we would be very appreciative of it and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode see you next time see ya